now five swimming pools and um, four tennis courts, but they're building pickleball courts. Um, a couple of restaurants, climbing structures, uh, and the golf course. And there's so one of the pools is like a lap pool, one is a lounging pool, there's a bar in the pool in that round pagoda thing. They still have the croquet lawn? Here is right croquet here. and the there's room. croquet on the far side. Oops, on the far side also. Um these are the mushroom villas as you refer to them. Yeah. Um, and they did a better uh, job. They did a really good job. So some of them are really nice and some of them are really decrepit. Yeah. Um, the ones that are nice have the downstairs, there's like a kitchen and a living room two bedrooms both with en suites it's not actually downstairs it's up and then there's an attic uh -huh. um, that sometimes has like bunk beds and you know mm -hmm. and, and some of them have bathrooms up there too um, so it's actually there's very nice I never read to one but I have friends who rented Yes. 
11. This was his favorite house. Exactly. Little Dr. Susie. The angles. Um, but like if a ship would turn it around right there. This is one of my favorite beach axes. I go to this one. Steve under the bus. <laughs> all the time here, including the house in front of us. Alright, these are the oh, not really that Okay, so we're gonna take So the structure ahead of us is called Shoals Club. Um, yeah, it's not a it's not a, a private house. Like fly, the flying mattresses mm -hmm. um, the rib of, of the ribs, okay. yeah. Um, did we go through it before it was finished? It, yes. Yeah. Was, yes. Wow. What is actually sold? Wow. Um, for a while, this was the most expensive property in, in, in North Carolina. Uh, I believe it. Uh, Whoa. And it's. It's really spectacular. Major once called up a real estate agent, and he was like, "Hey, 
John, can we have a tour of the house? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so he was like, sure. Um, and so we went. Yeah, I remember that house. Yeah, is, uh, it, is it sold now? I think it might have been sold. They replaced all of the windows. Um, it's a pretty spectacular property. It, it also has But it didn't have a lot. is out there yeah and the point is where the east beach and south beach meet there are about 20 miles worth of shoals underwater that depending on the tide and the waves and the front yes uh, goes out about 20 miles and if if there's, you know, if the expectations are right, yes. Of course, so that little building, yes. with that hammock, who does that belong to? Is to the house behind it. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, see, I can see it. Yeah. So, this is, remember I showed you mm -hmm. the Smith Island yeah. Land Trust? Mm -hmm. So, somebody has bought this and, you know, that's so good. that nobody can build here. Oh, it makes sense. Then you protect it in perpetuity. You're not looking at somebody's window. Yeah. Exactly. I think that's one of the things I love about Nancy's is that it's tucked back amongst all the live oaks and the palms, so it's a sense of privacy back there.
Well, well cooler than these places. You're to totally exposed to the sun. Your place yes. is partially. Yes. yes. I have some shade. You've you're, you're, you're got some buffer from the wind, too. But, like, I think this house is Look ahead. Mm. Oh, sorry. You can see the marsh. Mm -hmm. And if you look ahead, you can see Old Baldy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's where we were. Right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, all right. So we're going to drive along um, the middle of So there's really um, incredible birding mm -hmm. um, just in all these areas. Can you access any of this on a kayak? Yes, absolutely. Go for it, Steve. Yeah, make it. It's in the it's in the marsh though. A lot of yeah, I'm not, what's about the driftwood? I just love it. It's beautiful. Oh, oh. Is that, no. Any wood there? Doesn't really look like driftwood box at all. Don't encourage her.
which is uh, something something over over garage. Um, to North Bald Head Wind. We're gonna go left back into the marina area. It is a beautiful house. So this is called Creek Access. Um, you're getting like that. This is not the, you know, the, the 25 cents. This is like the $8. Can you take that long? Yeah. So um, this is Creek Access. So if you are putting in a kayak or a canoe, uh, you put in There is a um yeah, so here is here is the marsh. Um high tide today is at ten, so it's quite high at the moment. Low tide is at ten. Yes. Yes. And are these red? No. These are all owned by individuals. There is a place on the island where you can rent um, kayaks. And on the right um, is the chapel 
and we should get out because you should see the chapel because it is spectacularly beautiful. And it is not Sunday, is it? It is Sunday. Mm -hmm. Oh, is there is there a service happening? We just finished. You're Perfect. Welcome. Okay. Wide open and, uh, and a service and a wedding. Yeah, there's a wedding oh. tonight. So, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs>
for this evening's festivities. They know what's to come. Morning. You used to be able to cut through, but they. And this is the creek. We're going to walk out to the creek, but not from here. This is a space that often has tents um, for weddings. <laughs> there are a few spots. district and if you 
want to be where the action is. Um, this is it because you can walk to the restaurants and one would not drive. at the next uh, walking part of the tour. This is another uh, spot. Um, Hi.
Anyone interested in
the west side of the island faces um, the Cape Fear River. And
you have to be able to, you know, be able to right. Because you can't, you know, let tomatoes or like you can't just let them go, you know, all summer without you know ending you can't trim anything that's green um, there's like very specific rules uh, so the first thing on our stop <laughs> is right here oh nice um, so Smith Island Trust um, so some people around the island have
He's allowed on Ball Hill. Yeah. Yeah.